the tape for this women's Bantamweight Championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Referee for this Ready. one. Good. All right, here she is, the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion, Amanda Nunes. Her chief corner, Dean Thomas, has prioritized a fast start here tonight. They believe Nunes can work off of the jab effectively, and let's see if she can put those coaches' orders into action here. Early. Wow. Early connection with the left from the champ. Oh, right into ball. Oh, she's working hard for the armbar. What a tight armbar. Oh, it looks tight to me. Oh, she got out. How good is that? Big combination here of ground and pound strikes. Nice work by Nunes. Nunez gets back up. Man, she is just relentless. Unbelievable. She does a great job of getting that leg to the target. Beautiful leg kick. Now she gains some separation. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Double leg here. Now she's already made it several big takedowns, and there's another one. So you gotta like what you're seeing here. This offensive wrestling is on point. It's unbelievable. The variety of takedowns is what I am truly a fan of. It's not just one thing. She is doing different approaches, different takedowns to really, really confuse her opponents. Under two minutes now to go in the round. And there you go, again, half guard. And now she's in mount. Nice defense. Well, maybe some panic setting in for her opponent as she continues to land with the ground and pound. She cannot deal with the pressure of the top fighter. She's so good at finding her strikes. She's stepping over the mount here. Nice ground strikes landed by her here from top position. Another ground and pound strike lands. She could get the sub here. Oh, that's a nice job by her there to reverse the position on the ground. She was in trouble. Now she is the one handing out the punishment. Great change of position very quickly. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Nunes. Oh. Second round, straight ahead. Deep breath, recover. Nice work out there. All those hours spent in the gym wrestling have really paid off. She has no answers for you on the ground. All right, so that's the end of the round. Lot to like in there, DC, particularly when it comes to her offensive wrestling. She's evolving, right? She's gotten better. She did not have this skill set before. Now you watch her and she looks like an Olympian. She looks like a girl that can wrestle at the highest levels. She scored so many takedowns in that round. Her wrestling coach must be very proud.
You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Oh, Nunez jabs. Oh, beautiful body kick by you there. Still stand. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out of the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent for finishing. Oh! Beautiful. All right, in the full guard here, DC. Where does she go from here? She needs to be passing. Right away, passing. Trying to pass to get good ground and pound off. Oh, right into Mount. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. She's got her back now, DC, and I don't mean she's like, well, she's on her back. We'll see if she can set up that rear naked choke. It's tight. It's tight. Oh. oh, it was deep, but she got out. She got out, and now she finds herself in a dominant position. All right, so now she's in the dominant position after a beautiful reversal on the ground. And now she's in mode. Just over three minutes to go now. All right, so her ground control is outstanding. Half guard is when she's at her most dangerous. Yes, yeah, she's at her most dangerous when she has a half guard because she's so brutal with the ground and pound. She likes to go after fighters and really wear on them, force them to make decisions to give her. Oh, big shots raining down. Nice positional control here. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. Now it's tight. There it is. I thought it was over. I thought it was over, but that's one thing you know. Never underestimate these fighters in submission defense. Look at the inside leg kick. She grabs her opponent now. Could be the beginning of the end, champ. She hurt her very badly with that big leg kick. Oh, Now goes in and secures the takedown. In the half guard. Great job landing from the top position. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Well, she's got a good arm bar setting it up well here. Beautiful setup. Ooh, she's got the arm isolated. She is moving to her finishing position. She's got her back now. All right, round three coming up next. Stop, stop, stop. Sit down. Take a deep breath. Now listen, we probably lost that round. I need you to be first. Let's get that head movement and start popping that jab. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Ready to fight? Ready. Come Round on. three of a possible five. <laughs> oh, that kick is good. Oh, is that a huge strike right there, DC? Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off the finish. Right into side control. All right, half guard position for her here, and this is a spot where we've seen her have a lot of wild success in previous fights. She has a tremendous amount of success in this position because she's so knowledgeable. She keeps the right side underhook, and she just goes to work with that left arm. She's posting and elbowing. She's building her posture and punching. There are just so many different ways. Arm triangle attempt here. Nice arm triangle setup. Ooh, looks like she's got the arm triangle choke. Oh, that's a pressure on this choke, John. Oh, how good is that as she gets out? She is so aware on the ground, and she escapes a deep submission attempt. Oh, 
is grounded pound from half guard now. Our well, she continues to try to set up submissions here, but there it is, gets denied again. Once again, the submission is denied. This is just great submission defense to me. She's so locked in, she doesn't give you any chance. It's going to be very hard to get her out of here with a submission. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. Hit that wrist control. Right into side control. And there it is again. Her opponent has not had anything resembling an answer for these ground strikes. Ooh, look out. That thing is tight. It's advancing. She's about to finish. She got out again. Oh, she's got her back. Nunez is in half goal. She's trying to pass the guard here. Ooh, gets denied by the she bottom She got fighter. stopped. She got stopped right in her tracks. Great job by the bottom fighter. Good work from the top here by News. Fighter able to reverse position on the ground and gain a dominant position. Nicely done. And this is where she's good. Once she's on top is where she's a beast. Posture's up now and land the vicious head strike. As a play-by-play -play guy, I try to stay out of the prediction business, but I think we're going to see another takedown attempt here soon. Oh, absolutely. You see it playing itself out over and over again. She enters, she gets the takedown, and she will not stop at any cost to get the fight to the floor. She's been successful, so why would she change it? Right. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. Relax. Recover. Nice job. Excellent ground control. That's what I want to see out of you. And that submission attempt was really close. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. I'm excited, man. Fourth round is underway as we hit these championship rounds. Both of these women with a lot of... Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Nunes. This is a terrible position. Posturing up now. Oh, and she lands a huge strike to the head. She's stepping over the mount here. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. Grappling by her there as she reverses position on the ground. DC, I know you got my back. She's got her back, and she can do a lot of damage from here. I've got your back as an your boy, J.A. She's got her back as if she wants to end her night right now. She's got to be very careful. All right, so a storyline developing. You see a cut has been opened around her eye. She's got a cut on her eye. She's been getting hit in that same spot. The cut's nothing too big right now, but if she doesn't protect it, it'll get a lot worse. Nunez is in half guard now. Great shot from the top position. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, John, and then he just gets up. She's so busy because it's working. She's doing a great job of landing those ground strikes. Nicely done. Risk control, risk control. Oh, and there it is. So after an extended battle on the ground, she gets back to her feet, and the crowd is absolutely eating it up. She was not... Oh, there, probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class. If she lands, and she lands very effectively. Under a minute to go in the round. 
Oh, she is absolutely getting lit up right now. She has certainly changed her approach here in the latter stages of this fight. She is trying to take the judges out of it. That'll certainly help that goal. Tank down defense holds up. Oh, making this clinch work count. Lands the punch there. Right back in the clinch. Look for the backhand to get very active. She lands a beautiful leg kick. Final seconds here. Five. 20 minutes down, five to go. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, so she does survive to see the next round, but as we show you some replays, DC, nobody's gonna be kissing her on the cheek anytime soon. <laughs> no, it's a nasty cut on the cheek. She got hit with some big shots, and they really have taken an effect on her. Look at the cut on the cheek, and it was that shot right there that opened up the cut. You ready to fight? You ready? Here we go, fifth and final round. She continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like she did in the previous <laughs> She's wobbly now. She's hurt very bad. She's on skates. She has to get moving. If she stays in front of her opponent, she's going to take one more. That's going to end the night. Oh! She's got that single collar in the clinch now. Well, it looked like we were going to get a finish. She had her rocked pretty good, but she wasn't able to close the show. She wasn't able to find a kill shot. She hurt her very badly. She was not able to find a quick shot that would have finished the fight. She lands a huge leg kick. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Well, she continues to land to the body, attacking those organs, right? Not a lot of protection there, and you're seeing some visible damage now on the other side. Visible damage. She's done a tremendous job understanding and recognizing where the weakness was, and she has exploited that, and she's going to continue as she tries to get her hand raised. Great job getting the fight to the take down the hand. Under three minutes now to go on the fight. Good position to rip off the Kimura here. Oh, that's very deep now. Oh, somehow she gets out. It was locked in. She somehow survived. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Nunes. Oh, she's got the guillotine choke here. Yep, that guillotine's deep. All right, north-south position now, DC. If you're on the bottom, what are you trying to do to escape? If I'm the bottom fighter, she needs to try and force the top fighter to make an action to create some sort of sequence that will allow her to start defending. Because the moment you're on the bottom there, you're just kind of waiting, right? You're fighting with your hand, trying to grasp onto something that will allow you to get up. It's a very difficult defensive position, but it's not impossible. There are many, many ways Seconds now to go in the fight. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Oh, nice takedown defense. Oh, nice punch from the clinch by Nunes. <laughs> the official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 49 46, 50 45, and 50 45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and new undisputed USC Bantamweight Champion of the World, Kayla.
right, so an incredible result in this sold-out venue tonight. We have a new UFC women's bantamweight champion of the world. She is just spectacular.